Hi, I'm Renee McLaughlin, Master Ketab Trainer, and today I want to talk fascia and fascia fitness with you. What exactly is this thing called fascia? Well, fascia is a collagen-rich, stretchy tissue and runs all the way through. It's, it's three-dimensional and it runs all the way through our entire body. It can be actually divided into superficial, which is more on the outside, holding everything in, and deep, where it actually goes in and it is through every single, even microscopic nerve tissue and muscle tissue, deep into the organs, it's everywhere. It's so amazing. And it varies in thickness depending on where in the body it is. And it's in layers. And it's designed to slip around like this. It's just fascinating tissue. It's in layers. And think about this. Some of the largest layer is called the trousers. So it's thicker. It's a thicker um, tissue. It crosses over the knee thick comes up and as it comes up the leg and up the hip all the way to the waist, it gets a little bit thinner. Now, when your fascia is really healthy, it, ha it acts just like a girdle. It holds everything in. But what can happen is it requires movement because it's filaments that slip back and forth like this. And there's hydration under there to keep everything moving. So when we do not move and we're sitting all day, what can happen is that fascia starts to dehydrate and gum up. And now it's not moving nearly as well. And that is the first sign of aging, of pain and of immobility. It is so essential that we move throughout the day to keep that fascia moving and working. So, you know, a lot of people tell me, oh, Renee, my core is weak. I have to strengthen it. But a lot of times what actually happens is, is that whether we have surgery, let's say, and that we're cut, so that fascia is cut, or we're not moving, we're sitting all the time, so all this is just tight, you cannot strengthen muscles that are already tight. They're already tight. And you can't loosen them if your fascia is all bound up. So we always have to kind of go all the way back to core, root cause. What's the first thing we need to do? And that is we really need to focus on loosening up and unbinding that fascia so that we can actually get down there and begin to work on muscle. So a lot of times what we feel is muscle soreness and muscle ache is really about bound fascia. Okay, so that's just a little one-on-one -on, -one -on, -one on fascia. There's so much more to be had. You might even want to look on YouTube. There's some fascinating microscopic views of fascia so you can start to see how it works. It's just amazing, amazing, miraculous even. All right, so I want to get back to Teresa Tapp, the legendary Teresa Tapp, the last retreat that she taught in was 2017, and it was actually called the Fascia Fitness Retreat. And she was just so brilliant in that she was talking about fascia and fascia fitness before anybody even really knew what fascia was. But she, in that last retreat, came up with some new moves and new ways that we can work and unbind the fascia while then getting down and activating those muscles. And I just love that retreat. I found it so interesting. Lots of different things, like just for example, you taking your hands here, pushing in, stretching down and, and lifting. So what are we doing? We're working that fascia. We're moving everything in the torso in and up. We're using our pinkies. We're working everything, but we're working first to warm the fascia up and then get it moving. Now, once we start to do that, now we can feel that muscle activation. So after that, I took those moves home with me. And for the next month, month or two, for all my live classes, we were doing a lot from that fascia fitness retreat. So I always like to include, folks, we do a nice warm up because the fascia needs to be warmed up. So does the body. And then we would do lots of really slow moves like this. So why? Because as we start to do this slowly, 
we start to warm everything up so we get lots of movement in the spine in the fascia we warm everything up and start to unbind and then we went in and did some of these other beautiful fascia fitness moves so i created a recorded class package called the fascia fitness retreat package because at the end of that month where we were doing these everybody was getting amazing results like we already get great results just doing just our regular t-tap but when we included this extra fascia fitness into it along with this deep stretching it was amazing and we all felt so much better so much lighter so much younger because as you do this you're working even legs and calf you know, if your calf and your feet are tight, boy, you feel really old and tired, right? But you start to work all of that and you just get your use back. So I highly recommend if you are not getting the kinds of results that you're looking for, I'm going to really recommend getting a look at that Fascia Fitness Retreat Package. It's amazing. You'll have all the classes there with lots of variety so you can just start with one and keep going and really recognize the value of constantly moving and working that fascia so i hope this was helpful have a fabulous day bye